Hi, this is lesson number 34 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to add this beautiful effect on the text using clipping mask and add layer mask. Using clipping mask, we will clip multiple images and we will blend them using layer mask. Here in this demonstration, we will clip the image in circle in such way that the upper area is out from the shape. We will also apply layer style stroke and outer glow. So let's get started. Let's open a new document 1000 by 1000. This is good enough size for demonstration and the rest all property I will leave it as it is. Click on create. So here we have new document. The first thing we need to type text. So we will use text tool from the toolbox. Click on text tool and simply type text. Double click to select the text. Here we can increase the font and even using move tool we can resize the text this way. It is good idea to use some thick font so the picture will be visible in the text. In my case the font style is Barlow condense. To see the font style you can click on the text tool and click over the text. So the text property you will see on the top here. But without using text tool if you want to see the font properties simply you can open the character palette. Now our text is selected with the move tool and we don't have any text property on the top here. But if we will open the character palette we can see everything font style, font family, font size and the other adjustment settings. I already have character and paragraph palettes in my workspace. If you don't have one you can go to window and from here you can just click so it will be part of your current workspace. Now the text is ready. The first thing we are going to import these images in this canvas. This image is selected with the move tool. Simply click and drag. If we want we can choose the specific part of the image and place over the text and also we can just resize this way. By pressing shift key you can resize proportionally. Just place it over the text. Let's open the layer palette and here you can see we have text layer. On the top of the text layer we have picture. Hit enter. The flower layer is selected. Just bring your mouse in between two layers flower and layer one. Press alt key and clip. Now the image is clipped inside and if we will click on the image we can relocate the way we want. Let's import the other image. Click and drag. Resize it and place our the text. Simply we can overlap this way. Hit enter. Multiple images we can clip also in the text. This is the second image. Press alt key and bring your mouse in between these two layer and click and once again the second image is clipped. Select the third image, click and drag. We are going to resize. Just place it over the text this way, hit enter and using keyboard shortcut also we can clip. Layer 3 is selected, press Ctrl Alt G. So the third image is clipped. We can position this way. You can observe in our text from each image we have sharp edge. We are going to blend images using layer mask. So the yellow flower it is selected. Click on add layer mask and here we have thumb for layer mask. Using brush tool we can blend. Click on the brush tool. Make sure that the brush is really smooth. In my case hardness is zero and you can choose your desired size for brush. Make sure that your foreground color is black and the mask thumb is active. If you cannot see the brush preview, press cap lock key from the keyboard so you can see the brush in circle shape. Now simply click and drag to just make it smooth. Now these both images are blended. Let's select the third image, add layer mask, brush tool is selected, color is black, the mask thumb is active and simply click and drag. So this is how we blended these three images. In order to apply the layer style, we need to select the text layer. 
So, select the text layer, right click, go to blending options and here we are going to apply outer glow and stroke. Click on outer glow and the effect is applied. Now, we can set the properties according to our specific need. We can reduce the spread that is enough. Click on the stroke, reduce the size somewhere 3 that is fine. Click OK. So, this is how we achieve this beautiful result on our text using clipping mask, layer mask and layer style. In the second demonstration, we are going to create shape, circle shape and we will clip image inside. So, in our toolbox at the bottom here we have vector shapes. In your case, it might be a rectangle. So, you need to click and hold your mouse and select the ellipse. If we will create the ellipse here, it will be clipped with the text because text layer is active. So, click on the top layer and click on drag and here we have shape. Click on layer palette. Since the top layer was selected, so our shape is above that and it is not clipped. Let us change the color, go to properties and here we have appearance. Click on this black box next to the fill and choose your desired color. You can have your own color from here and if you want, you can choose also some recently used color. So, I will just fill this color. Here is the image. This image I am going to clip inside. Click on move tool, click and drag. To locate the image easily, we can reduce the opacity. In our layer palette, the image is selected. Let us reduce the opacity and now we can set the location how we want to clip the image in the circle. I think that is fine. Increase the opacity to 100. Now, the first thing we are going to do is to remove the background from the image. The main subject in the image is really focused and background is blurred. Easily we can select using auto selection. So, the image is selected. Go to select menu, select subject. All right. Almost we have perfect selection. This area we need to add in our selection. So, click on polygon tool, make sure add to selection is selected and simply make selection around this area. Now, that part is also added in our current selection. There is a two method we can press control J to copy the selected area in the new layer or if we want we can add layer mask. I will prefer layer mask. So, the layer is selected. I will click on add layer mask. The background is gone. Let us duplicate the layer. Here we have another copy. For now, we can turn off, select the original layer and we are going to clip with the circular shape. Using keyboard shortcut, we can also clip, press control, alt and G. Now, the image is clipped in circle, but from the top, we need to reveal this area. For this, we will use the duplicate. Let us turn on the duplicate. The bottom portion is also visible. Using layer mask, we will hide this part. So, select the copied layer. The mask thumb is active. Click on brush tool. Make sure your foreground color is black and simply paint with the brush to hide this part. Now, if we want, we can add layer style the way we have here. Let us select the text. Right click, copy layer style, click on ellipse, right click and paste layer style. The layer style is applied and it is exactly the way we have on the text. So, here we need to change the property of stroke and outer glow. So, select the ellipse, right click, go to blending option. Let us add outer glow. Click on stroke and we can increase the size. Click OK. So, this is how we achieve this beautiful result. Here also we do the same thing with a little bit different technique to clip image in the circle. So, in the layer palette, this small arrow directed down is indicating the clipping mask and the additional thumb on your layer, it is presenting layer mask. Try to use the similar images 
and add this beautiful effect on the text. Using clipping mask and layer mask, clip the image in your desired shape. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you.